first monthly page in 2023, January, in my big happy planner. It's my new planner. I'm super excited. I'm using these sticker books. So if you're new here, hi, my name's Mary Ellen, and I teach you how to plan in decorative and functional ways. We have fun on my channel, I think, anyway. So let's get started on this. Um, disclaimer, I actually don't really know what I'm going to do for this. I know I'm using these two sticker books. I kind of know the pages I'm using, but I don't really know exactly where I'm going to put the stickers. And I do that on purpose so that we can kind of plan together and you can sort of see my process of thinking my way through it. So this is the page I'm going to use in the Chic Winter sticker book. This is adorable. This sticker book is very wintry and cute. If you're missing a lot of winter stickers in your life, you might want to check this book out. Old school squad goals. I mean, this is a classic, you guys. It's a classic. I link everything I can find in my description box in all my videos, and that is... Um, those are affiliate links, so I'd appreciate it if you'd use those links when you purchase anything. It really does help me out. Okay, so I have a lot going on in January. I'm not, not that much, not that much, but enough that I need to put it on my monthly. Okay, so I'm going to do like a skiing, wintry theme. And typically on my monthly, I think I usually do like a Happy New Year theme, but I just did one in my plant. That's part of it. <laughs> I just did one for um, the first week in January. So I'm going to do um, something a little bit different. I'm going to start. I'm thinking of like taking. I know. Okay. Wait, I'm interrupting myself. Sorry. I do that here on my channel. If you saw my um, setup video for this planner, you will know that I was like, I'm going to leave the polka dots on the top because I think they're cute. But now I'm looking at these stars and I think that they would look really cute up there. You know what I mean? And I do have two pages of these, which is awesome. Live Love Posh, like their sticker books, you almost always get two pages of each design. And that way you can use your um, favorite stickers and not worry so much about like, um, you know, using it up because you have more. All right, I have stuff piled all over the place because I've been a planning fool, you guys. It is busy week here in planner land. That's what I've been doing. Okay, so another disclaimer. Let me figure this out first. Wait a minute. If I put this here, and start it like here. Okay, wait, did you hear that in the background? That's gonna be my disclaimer. <laughs> oh, wait till you hear this one, you guys. But oh, hold on, let me figure this out first. I'm gonna cut this. Let's just try this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but whoops. Look, I told you I'm a planning fool. This was from another spread I just made. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cut this like right here. We are going to see what we can do here. Okay, as I do this, as I put the stars up on the top of the page, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, for, so first off, I mean, maybe you don't hear it, but when I moved in here in my apartment, I realized the heater was really loud and that was affecting the sound in my videos, you know, so I have to like edit them in a way that hopefully the heater isn't as loud, you know, but otherwise it was pretty quiet. I mean, it was decent, you know? I'm like, okay, I can do this. There's good lighting coming in. You know, there's traffic noise and stuff. But we can live with that. But, wait, is this gonna fit? You might have to cut that one off too. Um, that is until today, this morning. Um, so apparently the whole time we've been living here, there was no one living upstairs on top of us. And now, I don't know, if, like, I don't know when that video went out, but I talked in one of my recent videos, maybe I didn't put it out yet, about some noise I was hearing and I thought it was like people moving in. Well, it was, why can't I do this? It's like it goes down and I want to cover the polka dots, but I guess I'm, I'm going to have to wipe those out. Um, it was people moving in. Okay, I was like, cool, okay, that's fine. You know, once they move in, it'll be okay. Um, they have small children. <laughs> and that is what I found out today. Nothing against small children, of course. I had four small children at one time. However, um, all I've heard all morning is thumping and screaming. <sighs> so, um... That's going to be an issue for you and for me, mostly for me, but 
you are going to hear some thumping and maybe screaming in some of these videos coming up. I'm not going to be living here forever. In fact, this is a temporary arrangement. I'm only going to be here until September, but I just want to let you know that we are going to hear some stuff here on my channel for a little while, you know, and um, sometimes real life, that's just what happens. We go through that kind of stuff, I guess, you know. Um, am I going to have enough to do this? Um, let's hope so. Maybe I should have, like, not done the second part. Uh, let's just do it um, and see what we can come up with. Let me cut around the edges here. I don't want this video to be too long, but, of course, I already started with something difficult. That's kind of my MO, I guess. So anyway, I was pretty upset about that this morning because not only was it difficult, you know, not only am I thinking it's going to be loud in my videos, but also I couldn't even think this morning it was so loud. Like, I'm not kidding you. It was very difficult to even think. Like, I have trouble thinking anyway because of, like, my brain fog and stuff. So... Ah, it's going to be an issue for me, and I really hope that maybe things will settle down. Maybe they're just excited because they just moved in, but I don't think so because, I mean, I know what little kids are like, and they're loud, you know, and, and it's not their fault. I'm not angry at them. Um, I think the walls are kind of thin, probably, but I'm not angry. I'm just kind of frustrated because this is something I'm going to have to deal with now for a long time. And I didn't know that. So I'm going to cut that part out in a minute. So I'm uh, kind of upset about that today. But as is anything in life, it is, you know, just one of those things that you have to deal with. It's a learning process and all of that. So we're just going to deal with it. And that's all I can do, really. Just like I'm, I can, I'm going to have to deal with this situation at the top of the page. I mean, that's all I can do. So we're going to put this here. Not like that, though. I don't know. Life, man. You know what I mean? Life. I'm just sort of finding ways to put little bits of it here and there. Like maybe I could put a couple here, you know? I don't know. I think it's fun. It doesn't have to be like perfect, you know, it just has to be fun and that's what it is. So I think that's good. Okay. Let's cut this part off. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take this Uniball Signo white gel pen and just white out the little polka dots, not because I don't like them, but because they really kind of don't match the colors and that's okay. Some of them do, but we're not going to leave them there. I'm just going to wipe them out. It's like little snowflakes. Not a problem. I like to use white gel pens in my spreads to just sort of cover up what I don't want, but not a big area, only if it's a smaller area like these, you know, you, you really hardly see it. And I find that the Uniball Signo ones are the best at least in my opinion. I have the, um, the other, those other ones, the, uh, gosh, my brain. Probably all that thumping. No, I'm just kidding. These, um, Sakura jelly rolls, but and they're good too, but I don't think they're as good in my opinion. Okay. So that's kind of cute. We're going to use the crocodile punch. Actually, let's do it now. Where is that? It's right here. This baby, if you're new to planning, this is something that you can just use to punch the holes out if you have a sticker over the holes which makes it super easy so you don't have to get out like a big punch or anything just this little guy okay so let's get started I think what I'll do first no let's start decorating a little bit I was gonna put boxes in first for my stuff but I, I think I want to decorate first a little and then go from there so let's let's do like fun stuff in the sidebar like these because I don't really use this that much. I kind of refer to it once in a while, but I also have a, um, I use like my phone calendar, my Google calendar a lot. So it's not, you know, crucial for me that I use this for planning purposes because I have a lot of planners and I have a lot of places to plan. So this is more of just like a reference for me if I need it. 
So um, I like to decorate this a lot is my point. Maybe like a jacket, like a little skiing outfit, which by the way, I do not ski. Don't ask me. It's a bad experience. <laughs> I do not ski. Um, I skied one time in um, eighth grade. Oh my God, it feels like yesterday. <laughs> Thinking about that, like, wait a minute. It just feels like it just happened. And um, yeah, it didn't go well. It did not go well. So let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Lucky I'm alive. <laughs> uh, so I don't like, I haven't skied since. Like, I guess I'm just a little afraid of it, but I've done, I've done like cross country skiing done some other I guess like tubing I've done but not skiing mm -mm. I don't think I'm ever gonna ski again look I'm gonna cover up notes with like the high five of that those gloves okay maybe we'll bring one more of these snowflakes just kind of off into here a little bit I know it's gonna cover up the 22nd but I want it there you guys I want it there okay let's cut this off Yeah, my skiing days are over. Not that they ever began. <laughs> but now I'd be too afraid I'd hurt myself. I am not the most coordinated person in the world. And I tend to hurt myself a lot just like in daily life. Like seriously, just... Um, wait, let me cut this off. Just like... Like walking across the room, you know, <laughs> or cooking dinner. Like I tend to hurt myself a lot. So I know that skiing is not for me. Because now that I'm older... I don't just hurt myself a little bit. Like when I hurt myself now, it's actually a lot. So I don't want to put myself in that position. I like this long little washi strip thing. I'm gonna put squad girls in here too, but they're probably gonna be throughout the spread and not like on the side. So, ooh, that would be kind of cute. Do I want it vertically or horizontally? I don't have anything to mark off. Like you can use washi tape or washi strip stickers to like mark off vacation days or whatever, but I don't really have anything like that going on in January. I could put it down here because this part's open. Let's put some of it here and then maybe we'll do some of it somewhere else. So wait, what was I saying? I don't know. I was talking about hurting myself and yeah, I don't know. I'm just getting older and um, a little more fragile. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I want to put this somewhere else, maybe in another part, like another couple parts, maybe, because I have another sheet, like I said. Um, let's do it, like, in a couple of different areas here. So if you're new to planning, decorating a monthly spread can be really tricky. My first monthly spread was horrible. And, you know, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it wasn't that bad. But you haven't, have you seen it? I mean, it was bad. It was really bad. And that's okay. You know, it's fun to try it and it's fun to like just do new stuff and, and it's new. And and for some reason, I don't know why, it's just difficult for me and probably for a lot of people. I feel like I want to make this one, I'm going to take that off and put this one here for like a little bit longer because I, I was then thinking about putting like a little piece over here and it felt like there wasn't enough on this side of this, you know. Anyway... It took a long time and sometimes I still have problems doing the monthlies. It's the hardest thing for me to decorate. I don't know why, but it's okay. Like most, like if it looks jumbled and stuff, it's okay because not all of your plans are going to be evenly spaced throughout the month. So you're going to have like more writing or more boxes on one side than the other. And that's all right. But what I discovered along the way, for me at least, is that I think I didn't like it at first because I wasn't putting enough stickers on it. And then once I put it, put more stickers on it, like I made it more stickery, it just felt um, better. I don't know. I kind of want to move this down, but I didn't want to cover up this Martin Luther King Jr. day, but I could always put another sticker on for that. I don't know. Let's put this up here and then decide. So... It's difficult, but I hear the thumping. <laughs> Great. 
Um, the more stickers you put on, the more you might like it, or that might be different for you. That, that, that's what it is for me, but it might be different for you. So there's boxes in this book that are going to match the stickers on the page, luckily. We've got this one. Actually, this one too, but I don't know. I'm going to use that. I thought I'd use like this and then the pink back here, this one, because I think those two colors are going to match this book the best. So let's go ahead and put, I mean, we could do that. Wait, let's look at these stickers too. So I was, oh, look, there is this color in there. Ooh, it matches really good. Okay. We're going to put a couple of these on. I wonder, small boxes might be kind of fun. I don't usually do that. Let's see what they look like. I have my list over here of all my stuff for the month. I kind of like the small boxes. They're kind of nice. Let's see what the bigger one would look like. I mean, actually, I kind of like the bigger one better, but these are cute. These would be really good for like the classic size, but I have a big happy planner, so I think it's just not big enough. Okay, so on the 5th, I have a mammogram appointment. I know, good times, good times, so fun. And then, but necessary, get your mammo mammos, everyone. The 12th, I have a group meeting, so I'm in a group of um, that I just started for parents who have lost children and I want to keep going every month it's hard it's really hard but I want to try to keep going and I'm gonna go they told me give it three months because at first you're like you want to just get away from it so they said give it three months so I'm gonna give it three months so that's that day and then I have um, the 13th is National Sticker Day. We got to mark that down in some way. I think there might be a sticker. Wait, let me get the Essential essential Holidays book, maybe? Wait, hold on. Okay, I have the Essential Holidays book here. And um, I'm going to get a couple stickers in here in a minute. But I also have this one. It says National Sticker Day on the front, so there must be a sticker for that, but let me just see. It might be in gold, though, which I don't want. Wait, where are those stickers? It's in gold. Shoot. Because in here, I thought it would be fun to put in the hollow um, foil words in here for, like, New Year's Day and Martin Luther King Jr. Day and, like, that kind of thing. So I think I'm not going to put the sticker one in here because I like the idea of this hollow foil with the winter theme because for me, silver kind of goes with winter, with snow, you know what I mean? So I think we're going to do that and we will put this on New Year's Day, which means we can wipe this out. I don't even know if you can see that on camera. It might like not show up. I'm not sure, but we're just going to take this pen and white out that part very sloppily. We're going to do the same thing for Martin Luther King. And sticker day, I'll put, I don't know, something else on it. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get, actually, maybe we want a box. Wait, let me, Let's put the boxes in first and see where the boxes are going to go. Because I like the boxes sort of to be even throughout the spread, and I don't know where I have them. Okay, so let's do that first. On the 14th, I need to pay my estimated taxes, and I know that's super boring, but I think I'm going to put a box there anyway. Like, I don't like that day, but I need to remember it. <laughs> um, and then... Martin Luther King. Oh, I have a doctor appointment on this day too. So maybe I will put like a small box in there. Let me see. There goes my heater. I know. Where was that one? Oh. I could just write in the doctor appointment, I guess. Because I want to put both on one day, so we can do that. I'm just going to pop this down here first. Okay, 
that's the 16th, and then on the 25th, my friend Natasha's birthday, so that's here. Let's get another one. Okay, and the 26th. See, all my boxes are on this side. Do you see why I was talking about that? It's okay, but for some reason that bothers me. You know what I mean? But that's okay. Um, so the 26th is my niece's birthday. We're going to put a pink box for her. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all I have. So sometimes when I have like, oh, I should have put the pink there and the blue there. No, because that blue's there. Never mind. Sometimes when I have a lot of boxes on one side or in one little cluster, I will put boxes on the other side just to make it look cohesive. I know that's kind of strange, but that's sort of what I do just so that we can have it be balanced. Um, for, Cause for me, I like to flip through it at the end of the year and have it look pretty, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put a couple more, which I know again is strange. And I could have put these in boxes, but I'm not going to. Let's just throw a couple down here. And sometimes when I put boxes in on, oh wait, maybe not there, on days that I don't have anything, sometimes I'll put like a sticker in it or I might um, just write a reminder to myself or something like that. Like, I just like to do it. I don't know. Everyone plans so differently, and sometimes people will scratch their head at what I do and be like, why are you doing that, Mary Ellen? Because <laughs> like, I want to. <laughs> that's, really, that's really what it's all about. You know what? Like, do what you want, and if no one else understands it, that's okay, because no one really has to. It really is your planner and your way of doing things like you know what I mean like don't worry about it people might be people might even think like that planning they might be be thinking planning is so weird and you know they'll see you put stickers in your planner and stuff and be like what on earth are you doing why would you do that you know I've had people say in comments and stuff like why would you like you know how are you productive like what why are you doing this like where do you even write your plans like all that kind of stuff and I guess the answer is like, it is functional for me, but you don't have to approve it. You know what I mean? It's okay if you don't accept that because it's not your planner, you know, and I don't tell anybody how to, actually there's a line right through her. I could have whited that out, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell anybody how to plan and nobody should tell you how to plan. Like it's a personal thing. So you do you, I'll do me and whatever makes everybody happy is good, you know? I am someone who is very accepting of other people. Um, not to be like, oh, I'm so great. That's not what I mean. I guess I, I just mean that live and let live, you know, as far as anything. As long as it's not harmful to other people or hurting someone, then it's like it bothers me and I will say something. But I think I just feel like everyone should have their, be able to have their own opinions and not be judged and not be, I should have waited it out more, but, and not be like made fun of or, you know what I mean? Like everyone's different. People have different thoughts, different perspectives, different feelings, and that's really okay. So, um, so the way you plan is not the, you know, probably going to be the way I plan and vice versa. But as long as we just accept each other's differences and, um, it doesn't really matter because, again, it's not really anyone's business how you plan. So these girls I really like, but they have presents in their hands. And, you know, this is after Christmas. I don't know that that applies. Even the tree is kind of questionable, but we're going to do it. Um, there's not really any other girl, actually. I could do another snow angel one in a different color, but... Maybe we only need three girls. I don't know. All right, let's write in my plans and then we'll we'll think about it here while I do that. I'll just grab this tool. It's not my favorite, but it's here. Okay, so on the fifth, I have that mammogram. Oh, I didn't write down the time. That's okay. I'll write it after. Mammogram. Sometimes I do fancy writing in here, and but usually I don't. Like, usually it's just like, let me just write it in and not worry about that. And then, um, 
group meeting and that is at, oh my gosh, I didn't write any times down except for my doctor appointment. I think that's at, uh, I'm going to wait. I think that's at 7.30 or something, but I don't remember. Okay, the 14th, pay estimated taxes. Boo. Not a fun day for me as a self-employed person because it's like a big, ugh, you know, like a big chunk that is not fun to pay. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Okay, the 25th is Natasha's birthday. I could put balloons or something on here, but I don't know if I'm going to. And then Grace's birthday on the 26th. And then let's see. Oh, I had the doctor appointment here at, a, at 1030. Okay. Now we have these empty boxes. Okay. I don't know if I should write in them. Sometimes I'll write the weather and stuff. Wait, let me think. Okay. I don't know. Let me think on that as I decorate the rest. I'm just going to put a couple more things and I'm not going to go overboard like I always do. I know. Is that disappointing for you or relieving? I'm not sure. But this is a cute sticker book, so I just want to throw a few more little stickers in throughout. There's some skis here. <laughs> Put skis on for, like, you know, me for my skiing adventures. And those tubes are a little dark, so let's not do those. Um, do some more ice skates. I could dangle some ice skates, like, from a box or something. cut the top so that it looks like it's like actually hooked onto that box. Oh wait, let me do this. Okay. And we can do, sorry, I know you can't see the sticker book. I'm looking at these. So cute. Little drinks or something, but they're brown. I don't know if I want to bring brown in here. How about a little hat here? I guess just right there. That works. And there's this page too. I like these. These are kind of cool. What does this look like when you take it off? Hmm. I don't know what to do with them though. So I'm not going to. Let's just throw in some snowflakes around the page, I guess, in different places, just to sort of fill up the little gaps that we have. Not, not a lot of them, but just some to make it look a little more even, you know? Maybe another one. This is a really big one. Do I want to use that? It's pretty big. I think I don't want to use that big one. Let's get a smaller guy and just put one there. Okay, is that enough? It looks really cute. Wait, let me stand up. That's what I do. I stand up at the end and like look at everything. Oh, I need to do National Sticker Day. Okay, and then like maybe something right here. I didn't want to put too much on this side because there's so much going on, but it looks like a little bit is missing right around this area. So let's do something kind of small. Let's do this ski. Now let's do National Sticker Day. What should we put on there? Okay, forgive me because it must be playtime upstairs. You're hearing lots of thumps now, maybe. It sounds like elephants. So anyway. Whew. Calm, Mary Ellen, calm. Okay, so I'm just going to put little, oh my gosh, I'm just going to put little quotes here that are just like cute little wintry. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I going to do, you guys? Maybe the heater noise is drowning them out. Am I going to have to move? Oh my gosh. Okay. Enough of that. We're just going to write down here, stay cozy. We'll get another pen. How about just some like light pink or something? Actually, this is kind of bright, but I'm going to do it anyway. Stay cozy. 
Okay, we'll outline that in a second. And then up here we'll do, let's see. How about, wait, I had one in my head. Oh yeah, like the wake me up when winter is over thing, because <laughs> I hate winter. So let's just do that. Wake me up. Do you guys like winter? I am not a winter person at all. I used to be more than now, but now I love summer. Okay, so let's outline this bottom one. Let me get a Muji pen, they're like thinner. Stay cozy. I'm trying. I have my cozy sweatshirt on. Listen. There it is. It's shaking. Everything in the house. It's shaking everything. Good thing I don't have anything on my walls because I feel like it would fall off. All right. Let's put a sticker in this one. I don't know. I feel like I want a sticker there. So how about some like gloves and hats or something or just a hat? That's like pretty big though. And there's a hat right there. We're not doing that. On mountain time, we could do that. On mountain time, like I ever go to the mountains, but it's in my planner. Listen, your planner is like your dream life. You can do whatever you want to in your planner. You can live whatever life you want to live in your planner. And I want to go skiing in mine. So I'm on mountain time, you guys. <laughs> I am, I don't know about you. All right. Let's take a look at this wintery spread. I think it's done. I think it's really cute. It could use maybe something a little bit down there, but I'm not really too concerned about it. I think it's a really fun spread. So don't forget, um, these are all gonna be linked for you. This one, oh wait, we didn't do National Sticker Day. You're probably like, Mary Ellen, you said you're gonna do National Sticker Day. Why aren't you doing it? Um, I don't know what to do for that though. Oh wait, how about one of those little sticker book stickers from the, uh, I don't know, I'll find one, hang on. Okay, I have the Miss Maker sticker book here and we have this little sticker book sticker. Let's put that on there. And I guess I'm just gonna do that because it already says National Sticker Day. That's just my reminder to myself. So I am going to go and try to decompress from being upset about the noise. Actually, I might just like do a little meditation, but it's hard because the whole house is rattling. So it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Wake me up when winter's over or maybe wake me up in September when I can move. Okay, cool. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs> I promise you I won't complain as much in my next video, okay? And um, happy January. See ya.